All right, so it's day three already. It is day three already. Uh, and we woke up, and what did we get before this, but I didn't film it because it would be pointless? Schlotzky's. Yeah, we got again. it again. That'll be the end, though. Yeah. I don't need it again. I just wanted a full <laughs> one of their sandwiches Because uh, we only sandwiches shared on the own. first sandwich. Yeah. And then this way, I was actually able to get one of their, like, regular sandwiches that has lettuce. Yeah. Upgrading it to a five out of five seal of approval fish. Yeah, it I is. I gave it a high five before, but it's, it's perfect. It's so good. Uh, so you found this coffee place. What is this one? Uh, this is Ziggy's Coffee. Uh, fun fact about Denver is it seems like in uh, California, there's like one mom and pop for like every 20 oh, Starbucks. Yeah, it's like, totally there's different. There's Starbucks everywhere and just hardly any little individual coffee places. But here, there's so many different like little yeah. mom and pop coffee places. I've seen like maybe one Starbucks. Since the core, they're out here for sure, but the corporations don't have like their... Like they're, they're, they're their their grass claws. claws. There you go. <laughs> no, but it's so amazing how many mom and pops. But like all of the places we have are still here too. Yeah. It's just the mom and pops are so dominant compared yeah. to. And it's uh, really cool because there's so much more variety. Oh, there's so much more yeah. stuff out here than in California. Yeah, for sure. So let's go get her some coffee. Mm. All right, so we got our coffee. Yeah. Um, before we say what we got, I said this joke to her outside, but that cat Ziggler has been holding out on me because he said he's 10 years old. For 10 years, he said he didn't have rent. He's got his own coffee restaurant. I know, what a dick. That's why there's gonna be cat hair in this though. Oh. Uh, what'd you get us? So I got the raspberry truffle um, with two extra shots of espresso. You got me the fireside, right? Fireside, which is like marshmallow and white chocolate. Oh, okay. Also with two extra shots. Okay, because I need wake up juice. Oh, I thought <laughs> thought I was hitting ice, but it was just the bottom of the cup. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's coffee. Well, it's Let funny. Well, no, I mean, it's good. He shouldn't get to judge No, it's, it's good though, but it's just coffee. I think what's funny is when... Mine's better, try. Okay, when I try... Uh, have you tried energy drinks? You think they all just taste too sweet and they all taste the same mostly. No, they all taste different. They just all taste like different kinds of butt. I don't know. Your reaction's almost exactly the same though. You're always like, oh, it just tastes like super sweet, like water. Yeah, well, that's what it is. But it's like, just... I have a similar reaction to all coffee that you mm. have. Like, I think, I think we both are on the opposite spectrums of the same subject. Oh, yours is very good. Mm-hmm. It does kind of taste like a candle smells a little, but you know. What is with you and the candles lately? Well, because you smell a candle. There I mean, I could, do you like this one better? I could drink uh -uh. that one. They're all the same to me. Yeah. I like it's it. It's all right. I like that their menu, they have um, a lot of like um, their own kind of flavors. Like, yeah. You know, because some <clears throat> of the little mom and pop places you go, it's just coffee. Yeah. And it's kind of like the plain mochas and the this Out and in that, SoCal, but. like half the places that are mom and pop coffee places have their own unique menu and half just have generic coffee. Yeah. And so um, it was nice to see that they had some. Yeah. I've never seen a coffee shop with a raspberry truffle coffee, so. Uh, also, I like that their symbol is an angry robot. He's very upset. And they put these cute little stickers on it. Yeah, they it says, are really good cute. things take time. It's true. So they just had a lot of cute little touches. I like it. Uh, I'll give mine a three. It's solid. Don't love it, but I'm not a coffee person, but I don't hate it. I think that it'll do the job, but I think you're gonna give them a much higher rating. Yeah. yeah what do you rate it? I'm gonna go with five out of five. <laughs> I like it. All right, well, there you go. That's Ziggy's. Uh, what's our first thing on the adventure for today? Are we gonna try the five? The, or the seven, seven falls? Falls trail? Yeah. Might as well do it now, because it's not yeah. raining. We're gonna try the seven falls trail, and then depending on uh, how we feel, we'll either go to the, the zoo and zoo the bug museum. The bug. Well, I do wanna do those, yes. Yeah, you so wanna do, do both it. of them? Yeah. All right, well, it. then we're gonna go do it. And then, and we'll, then we're gonna head to Denver. Yeah. Wow, absolutely incredible. Okay, Ooh. so we have made it to the 27 trails and uh, wrestling bears no. trail. It's the Bro <laughs> Broadmoor Seven Falls. Okay, but Seven there Falls is, Trail. Apparently there's wrestling bears here. There's wrestling bears. Let's show the map. You see, it's a cool map. That is a really cool map. Kind of reminds me of Disneyland. It says that there's wrestling bears. Okay, look at this view though. It is incredible. Uh, and it's very short too. It's a less than a mile. Yeah, only and there's, eight miles. But there's 27 different waterfalls. Seven. 27 different Seven. waterfalls, yeah. He got in for free because he's an infant. It's true. I've been called an infant many times in my life, so mm -hmm. let's walk up there and just take in the view. It's beautiful. Okay, let's go. Wow. It's uh, $18 a person, so it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm sure they use that to 
I'll they keep bust everything. us up here and Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Look at this sight. This is giving me um Grand Canyon vibes. Except greener. Yeah, obviously it's not a canyon, but just like the sheer size of everything that's around you. It's beautiful. Oh yeah. There are places I re Oh, we're not doing Beatles? Look at that mountain. That is... That's the biggest mountain vagina I have ever seen. <laughs> Just want to watch Godzilla fuck it. Yeah. Oh my god. So foresty. Very, very, very top. I stopped. <laughs> what is that all the way up there? Um... So yeah, stairs. Oh yeah, I think we're going up there. Okay. That's, Maybe? Yeah. There's yeah, an I'm elevator. You, I'm gonna bet you no. No, there's an elevator that's gonna take us up to the top at one point. Yeah. Or we could take the stairs up to the lick out. Or just fly. Didn't you remember the uh, Batapult? That's where it ends. Oh. Now we're in like the, it's like a canyon. Wow. Shout out to the innovator of offense. Rest in peace. Not wrestler. Whoa. Whoa. You're so good. Yeah, former tag team champion with Diamond Dallas Page. Member of the flock. Yeah. Mortis. She doesn't know anything, I'm telling you. Look at this. Whoa, that is vertigo all the way. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. No, F that. Come on. Yeah, I'll watch you. <laughs> the bridge. All the way there. No one's going across it, so I'm guessing that that's something they only use when they have to. F that. <laughs> I, I prefer living. I think that the zip line that goes here. Maybe that's where they get off? Yeah. Yeah, because they did just go across the zip line right here. You can barely see it, but uh, nope. No, thank you. I prefer to live. Well, you're not going to die on a zip line. I will be the first. <laughs> it's called the Bell Luck, okay? My dad. Oh, I'm sorry. The Zion Luck. <laughs> uh, ooh. No, they already know. <laughs> Everybody knows that it's Matthew Bell Zion. I mean, Obviously. Yeah, the Bell Luck though. My dad said for years, anything that can go wrong will go wrong because your your name is Bell. I was like, yep. She's going to the bathroom. This is like the one bathroom before we get up to the main part of the trail. But I have a question for you guys. What is your favorite trail that you've ever been on? Uh, mine was in Hawaii. I can't remember what it was called but it was awesome, and it was just a random trail that we stopped off at, but I've been through a lot. Nope, I got interrupted because she was saying hello to everybody while she was zip lining. Yeah, I would say Hawaii I had the best trail, but you know, I mean, being from California, we have a bunch of great ones. Uh, I think this one's gonna be a lot of fun too. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Squirrel is right here. Uh, a squirrel? It's a groomer squirrel. Well, oh. Yeah, not good. No. I don't like the direction this country's going in. How dare we accept everyone for who they are? Right, this one's cool. We agree. This is the best one. This one's awesome. Because it's not grooming. Maybe. I don't know though. He's like in a superhero suit. I might. Oh, wait a minute. We. Oh, it's Marvel then? In Disney? Okay, never mind. We know what this squirrel's all about. We know what his agenda is. We know what you're doing. Mr. Colby promised me wrestling bears. Yeah. Just better live up to the hype. So you think we go up these stairs? Well, you have the option of the elevator or the stairs, I think. Okay, what do you want to do? I don't care. Right, we're choosing the stairs. I'm doing the 85 stairs. Oh, yeah. Elevation. 
animation of this thing, like... Okay. Two more stretches. Since we're halfway there. Halfway, okay. All right. That's a lot. If you did that 10 times a day, your cardio would be amazing. Whew, look at that view. Wow. I just like that we're not exclusive. Everyone that goes up that is like, I'm dead. <laughs> look at these psychopaths. Oh God, don't do it. Life is worth living. Oh God, here he goes. Okay, I guess you just go down slow. See, he he's showing them right now. The guys with the yellow hats are the uh, instructors. All right, you lower yourself. I mean, I still hate it, but that's better than the zip line. So I think we fucked up. I think this is just an eagle eye view because they got like a gift shop back here. By the way, I guess I could take the maybe the elevator up, but I don't think there's anything around the corner. No, I think that's just for this. The comes up to this. Okay. I hope but so. But we messed up because we just used up all our steps. That's the way up. That one. We didn't even go up the right way. Oh man. It's worth it though. What a beautiful, beautiful view. You don't see stuff like this very often, so you gotta go for it. This is a little, they got a gift shop, and thank God they have an elevator, so we didn't screw up too bad. We're still gonna have to end up going yeah, up. Not wasted. Yeah. We're still gonna have to end up going up the main way. We just got off the uh, elevator. Look at this, it's so wet. It's cause we're like in a mountain. I told you, I told you that this was the biggest mountain vagina. Well, we I've are ever in seen. the canal right now, baby. We got a little bit of history here too. Awesome. Alright, well, it's time oh my God. to go up the stairs that are even larger. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I can't believe we did that. Uh -huh, I'm happy we did. Because we almost kind of, we were kind of thinking of skipping this a little uh, yeah. before we got here. Yeah. But no, I'm glad we did. No, this, this is fantastic. one of the things I really wanted to do. It's yeah. really beautiful. <sighs> Sketchy as fuck. <laughs> we made it. We're all the way at the top. Oh, Man. The, okay, I think I'm a liar. the last couple of steps were like you're at the gym on the stair climber. Oh, it was bad. I just, there's a couple times I stopped and I remember something my dad taught me because we used to go mountain biking mm -hmm. uh, in Lake Arrowhead in Mammoth. And he's like, if you're on an up, uphill, he's like, if you stop, it just makes it all the harder to start yeah. again. It's like you might as well just get it over with because then it'll be over faster. All right, so what's the plan? Um, so I was wrong because it looks like those don't go back down to the bottom. Okay, so it's stairs it is? Stairs it is. Oh man. Physically intense coming up, mental F going down yeah, is what I'm predicting. This. I'm not exactly excited for it. It's got to take your time and go step at a step, step at a time. Those people going down that we saw were going real slow. So. Real slow, well, because you're looking straight down, it's awful. Yeah, all right. So the moment that we got down this thing, or started going down it, it started raining. That was great. I had one step where my foot slipped out, uh -huh. but I had a good grasp of the, the we're railing. Alive. We made it. That is terrifying, but... I'm so happy we did it. Yeah, we did it once, never one and done, again. never again. Beautiful place. Uh, we're gonna make our way out of here now. Wow. Whew. 
That was something else. That was cardio for like the next three days. And I will officially look like shit for the rest of today's video. Oh yeah, me too. All right. <laughs> Woo. You lied to me. Why? You lied to me. I'm gonna call you out right now. I didn't see a single wrestling bear. <laughs> oh, you're where, where were the wrestling where bears? Where were they? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we just left the 27 Point Falls Trail. Seven. 27 point and uh, it was good. It was beautiful. Really enjoyed it. I like how we didn't even like finish it though. We got up the stairs and there was like a 20 minute loop there. and an hour hike and we went, no, I think, I think we're just gonna go back down these stairs and get this over with. Well, there was only one more waterfall to see in that and it started raining, it was like muddy. That's impressive that we saw 26 of them though. I'm, I'm happy, I'm proud of us. But while we're doing the drive in here to the next thing, we're going to a zoo. I saw this at randomly at Walmart. Now I've never even heard of this. And if you guys know me well, I follow all of the food websites, all of them, brandeating.com, Impulsive Buy, uh, I think it's what, Food Beast. Just, I've got like 10 of them and I go through them. I have a bunch of them on uh, like on uh, Instagram as well. I just follow everything and I did not, I have not heard a peep about this flavor and it didn't say limited time or anything. Uh, I'm checking it right now. It just, it's a normal flavor. I guess they sell out here in uh, Colorado or maybe in where you're at, you can say you have it, but I've never seen it. This is Pringles, French fries and ketchup flavor. Never heard of this in my entire life. Now I know of uh, the ketchup Pringles because those were like a limited time thing. I think that they're Canadian based, but you know, I, I would say traditionally, I don't like ketchup flavored things. That is definitely a Canada deal, uh, but we're gonna try it out. Here, I'm gonna feed one. Well, you gotta feed two. You have to have two. Why? Because Pringles, you get the full okay. flavor if you do two. Okay. Mm. Do the French fries even it out a little bit? I don't really like ketchup, but those are kind of good. Okay. All right, let me try it. Let's see. They do put a decent amount of little seasoning on it. Mm -hmm. It does taste like French fries and ketchup. Okay. It's not bad. <laughs> That's pretty good. It tastes like you dip french fries in ketchup. Yeah. It, the ketchup isn't overpowering. Yeah, because I love ketchup. I'm not a huge ketchup fan. Well, I remember the first time she oh. saw me pouring he a bottle of ketchup me. on a bean and cheese burrito because that's what I did growing up. You know, I just, I love ketchup. But ketchup flavored things are gross. They just don't work because ketchup is a complimenter. It's not the full meal. Uh, so adding the fries to this is perfect. Uh, what do you rate it? Uh, uh, four out of five. I was gonna say, it's probably the best ketchup flavored thing I've ever had. And I would also give it a four out of five. I think it is solid as hell. So yeah, if you've had these or they're just a regular flavor where you live, let me know in the comments down below. We are gonna go off to the zoo. Okay, so change of plans. Uh, the zoo is a no go. Nope. Cause apparently you have to, uh, well, at least it was sold out today and you had to basically get a ticket in advance to secure your spot. So we said, screw it. And we're gonna go to the bug museum next, which is, what does it say? The May? Natural History Museum. That's, that's a weird name for a bug museum. Well, I think it's just like a guy in his bug collection is really what it is. Lame. How cool this is as you hear some thunder. Oh yeah. You got an eagle at the top. Got some that's bugs so cool. carved into it. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So she's saying there's a story about this place. What's the story? So this was originally out here in Colorado, and then for some reason, okay. the guy decided to try to move it to Florida. Yeah. But as we know about Florida, everything <sighs> dies there. Yes. So it was ruining his bug collection because of all the humidity. So that's he had weird. to come crawling back to uh, Colorado. Yeah. Because it's nice and dry here, although it doesn't look like it today. Womp womp. Here we go. They had like a 20 minute video. Nah dog. That's me going nah dog. <laughs> oh, here he is. This is it. And this the is a man himself, James May. It's a tropical bug museum, but it's in the middle of Colorado. It's so funny that they tried to go to Florida. I mean, Florida makes more sense because it's going to get because more traffic. Because it's tropical bugs. Also, just more traffic. I mean, I think more people are going to Florida to visit than Colorado. They lost 10% of their collection on the move. That sucks. I wonder, like, what bugs were just irreplaceable. I've just gone for... Look at the size of this thing. Oh, my God. That, no. And he caught all these bugs. This thing is... 
Look at this. He was a conservationist and he was oh in Africa. He God. literally caught all of these. Yeah, he murdered They're right them. behind your head. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my, they're even bigger. <laughs> Jesus. Where the God? New Guinea. Oh my God, that's crazy. Oh yeah, this collection is massive. It's such a nice temperature in here too. Wow, look at this guy. It's so crazy. Yeah, that was this guy's passion. Where's John? Oops. Alright, where's John, Ringo, and... God. Look at this thing. Imagine that coming at your head. No. So he caught that in Brazil in 1934. Oh my god. It's so crazy how they can preserve them. And this. Why you try to go? <laughs> 1929. Look at this crazy dude. The colors on him. Looks like he was painted on him, and that's just how he is. Ooh, oh no. This is my biggest nightmare right here. Centipedes and spiders. Oh god. These guys. These guys are gnarly. Look at he's got them all back here too. Well, we get to walk that way, I think. No. No? I have to look at it from here. Oh my god, look at the crazy colors on these beetles. This, that's so, that's nuts. This is crazy because this spider was found in 1909. Oh wow, I, I miss him. 1909. That is horrifying on every level. His body's so tiny. Oof. No. This lamp might be from 1909 too. African beetles, holy moly. Very rare, this one. That guy, oh my god. I miss the ends. There we go. It's not like the lighting here. I miss these. Like an owl. That's funny. You know for a fact that that's supposed to scare off predators and look like an owl. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's crazy how nature just knows. It's like, yeah, make it look like an owl. It's albino ones. Then you got like this guy. It makes it look like he's got a leaf on his back so that predators can't tell if that's a leaf or a, uh -huh. like with his like legs that look like sticks. Man, there's just stuff everywhere. Yeah. Zoom is so annoying on this. It's butterfly colors. Look at his feet. What the fuck? Look at his feet. If I can get it. Oh, there we go. It's right into the light. Yeah. His feet are crazy. <laughs> it's armor. You, you know what? Uh, what he looks like. Hmm. Uh, Starship Troopers. Okay. Those big bugs that flew in. I just open it up and take a picture. <laughs> just pick him up. It'll oh, be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is cool. How huge it is. Oh my god. The size of these moths. Whoa. It's like a bird. Just for the comparison, like, look at that. Oh, yeah. There's just an unbelievable amount of <laughs> butterflies. And these were all caught by one guy. One guy. This was his passion. Some rich dude who just was like, you know, I want to catch some butterflies. He was a conservationist? Yeah, he's probably a rich dude though, I bet. Yeah, probably. Wow, that's really Size interesting looking. Like this dude. But now I like this guy up here. Never seen anything like this. Oh, this guy looks like he's dancing. He's looking at you. That coloring is insane. 
Just blows my mind how many things exist on this planet that I was not aware of. It's overwhelming. And then these guys look like wood. So they almost look oh, like wow. they could just blend into a tree. You would never even know that they were there. No. Nope. As long as they weren't moving. This one's so furry. Mm -hmm. Look at the hair on it. That's crazy. And we got our reflecting ones. These wings are crazy. <laughs> Look at how they reflect the light. Oh, wow. And I wonder how that's a defense. Morpho butterflies. Whoa. Look at this guy right here. Oh my god. How the hell does he even use the longest antenna I've ever seen? Ever. Oh my god. Probably an intimidation factor, is my guess. Like the longer they were, the more other predators would be like, oh god. This guy right here. My light's gonna constantly block it, but that is cool. You know what they didn't tell you though? Is that around the corner? They preserved him. Oh, he's just that's great. <laughs> he's spread completely nude, just spread open. More butterflies. But he really liked butterflies. That seems to be the majority of the stuff he had. Because they are, they're just everywhere. Oh, yeah. Lots of these, like that, that, that light like leaf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots and lots of these. Ooh, what the hell is this thing? So this, it says that this oh, is God. the largest one of these ever discovered. Okay. Look at this over here. Look at this guy. Oh my god, look no. at those claws. Just the size of these guys. Got a scorpion over there. This guy, I don't even, I've never seen anything quite like it. So are these like locusts? Um, stick insects and giant locusts. Yeah. Imagine these coming in like the hundreds of thousands and just destroying your crops in a single day. Ooh, what is he biting on over here? With a hummingbird. Oh, it's a hummingbird. Oh, God. Holy crap. Jesus Christ. I wish there was a light on that so you could see that better. Yeah. What are these guys? Poisonous scorpion. Another one with a hummingbird. <laughs> oh god. That looks like... Damn, my reflection's always gonna be a problem, but... That looks like the one from Arachnophobia. Uh-huh. Oh. oh. That is terrifying. I'll do it in between. <laughs> the lighting in here is kind of odd, deteriorating. Yeah, a lot of these have like, it's hard to translate, but you can see it. They got fur, which like you would not, I would not suspect would be on a no. moth. Maybe they all have them though, but it's so, so tiny, it's tiny you can't tell. See yeah. These guys. Jesus Christ, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> It's a stick insect from New Guinea from 1946. Wow. Oh my god. The size of these. We got like this bug. Look at all these. Skipper butterflies, mostly from South America and the United States. It says the transcendent wings, these butterflies fly with such. Uh, ease, I guess? Or, what does that say? Such... Fast. Oh, fast wing movement. Uh, it is often impossible to see them. Yeah. Wow, those ones are tiny. Oh, yeah. Okay, and here's one of the main things that I uh, eat sometimes for money. Oh. It's the beetles collection, like mini beetles. Wow. It's overwhelming. He had... He literally did spend an entire life collecting as many of these as possible. Yeah. Yeah. We got more of 
more locusts. He's a big fan of locusts. I think his plan was just to find all of the bugs. Wow, get out of there, light. I want to see this guy. Look at him. <laughs> that beautiful color. Cycads. What are they? Oh, cicadas. Oh, cicadas. That's what I called them. I said the same thing one first because I've, I've eaten these. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but the other cicadas. They don't taste very good. I have to just, <laughs> just have to throw that out there. Giant wasp. Wow. Oh, imagine that guy coming at you. No, they're already scary enough as is. All right, which one of you has been in my mouth? Let's see. <laughs> So these are very rare long-tailed moths. Yeah, can't say I've ever seen a long-tailed moth before. It's very hard to catch them without breaking the long tails. Oh yeah, because they probably freak out. They also, I would take a wild guess, they probably break them off on purpose in order to like get away from certain predators. Oh sure. And I thought these were impressive, but then here's the even bigger ones. <laughs> Jesus. Again, just for a size comparison. She saw this and she was like, I don't know, what is that? What is that? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a like, horseshoe crab. Yeah. Blood from the creatures. Oh. Look at the, the colors. That is so unique. It's wild how nature can like slightly evolve everything. What do you what do you got? I got a tarantula wasp. What the what is this thing? What is this like a worm? That's a worm coming out of its cocoon. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? This thing is yeah, so cool. Yeah, I've seen them because they paralyze tarantulas and then lay their eggs inside of it and it burrows out of them while the tarantula's alive, which they say is like super painful. What? Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> it's a tarantula wasp. I learned about that when okay, I was in school. Okay, now I don't want that in my bag. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't either. Although I don't think they're gonna hurt you. <laughs> that is so creepy. <laughs> oh, did you see this one? With all the little babies on it? Ooh. <laughs> Kimberly, it's okay. Kimberly, it's okay, you're fine. Oh wow. The colors. Wait, what's your favorite species? Wow. They look just like leaves in the fall, which I think is the point. Yeah. More spiders. She pointed this out. This giant ant. Look at the scorpion spider, that's cool looking. That is cool. Oh, I've gotten bitten by a it's got by it too, just the... <laughs> Again, dude, this guy's like longer than my hand. <laughs> look at that, how cool. It's like artwork. Like do shrooms and look at this. This one's really cool. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a cool butterfly. All of these creatures were caught in the vicinity of the May Tropical Museum at Weeks Watch Springs, Florida. Mm -hmm. So these ones were all caught uh, during yeah. the time that they tried but to But I like how out of everything, this is the one crab. He was like, this crab's cool looking. <laughs> it is a cool looking crab. Place. Do you still hear the lambs screaming? Place. <laughs> I miss this. It's like a moth, but he's got this long. What is that? <laughs> it goes all the way up there. And they have it rolled up. Wow. Under the okay, tube. so it goes even further. Uh huh. Is that just a drink? Like they rob beehives. Ro oh, okay. They sh <laughs> they shove that thing in a beehive. That's strange. Some leaf butterflies. Yep. If you saw that on the ground, you would not even think anything about it. Predator flies over and it's like, hey, whatever. For 10 of the world's smallest beetles in the small bottle, which is inside the corked bottle. So there's the corked bottle and then there's another bottle. In the bottle. And inside of that bottle is 10 beetles. They're about the size of a pinpoint. And then the biggest one. That's crazy. Thank you.
Oh, this is guy too. These guys scared of crap. Out of the the tree, uh, trap door spiders. Wow. They're so terrifying. Wow. That's the bamf. Like... That's the bamf of the moth family. Dude, that thing is huge. Look at this guy. Oh god, look at this guy. Imagine this guy coming at you. Literally, this guy's literally my nightmares. Like, look at this. Him, and then of course, even more scary. Bum, bum, bum. Jesus. This guy's bigger than my hand, lengthwise, wow. like... They're, a they're the biggest bat. Flying fox. Technically a bat. That wingspan. Here, stand in front of him. Just so you can get like a... Like, look like at how big that thing is, yeah. What's in it? Funny. The kids, the kids overall. There's so many of them that are like incredibly interested, but also scared out of their minds. So many beetles. <laughs> wow. So many of them. Look at this one's legs. Yeah, I was gonna say this is this guy's working out again. That kind of it looks very similar to uh, Starship Troopers. <laughs> Look at the freaking nose on this thing. Okay, there we go. The nose on him. Oh my god. Lanternfly, Lower Amazon, South America. Moth? No, butterfly. Wow. Look, this guy is really unique looking. Yeah. It even simulates like the holes that would be in a leaf. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Absolutely beautiful colors. It's like bright pink. Oh, yeah. Look at his legs. From Central and South America. Most of these are from there, I feel. Like the really, like, curious looking ones. I like these armored guys. Then you got, like, this dude over here, which again, size comparison, just absolutely huge. Man, they are so fucking cool. This guy is only a few known in the world, too. So that was overwhelming. There was a lot of bugs. We tried, there's a giant bug. I'm sure I can find a picture of it and put it up. There's a giant fake bug, it's a fake beetle. Uh, that's kind of like the, the front and the, uh, the entrance, but it looks like it's owned, the land is at least owned by some sort of trucking company. So we can't get up there. Uh, but it was really cool. It's right I mean, you can show it. Well, we'll see if we can even get it in the shot though. Look, look, here it comes, here it comes. See him up there. You can see him off in the distance, but I think it'll be it'll be much more effective when I just show a picture of it. Yeah. But overall, I thought it was very cool. You liked it? It was very cool. There's a lot more bugs than I expected. Yeah, a lot of little kids. You'll hear it in the video. There's a lot of little kids that were just like, what the hell is that shit? <laughs> so that was pretty fun. Uh, the plan now is I think we're going to get a quick little bite to eat and then we're going to go to Denver, which will be the remainder of the next three days yep. before we're done. Alrighty. Yeah, pretty cool. I would recommend coming out here. It is out in the middle of nowhere. It's out by a military base too, uh, but it's worth it. How much was it per ticket? Like 12 bucks? Uh, 12 bucks, I think. Yeah, not too bad. So go check it out. Enjoy this Twitch clip and we'll see you soon. Bye. Yeah, Judgment Day just like... It does. It feels like the fun that we had when DX was around. When it was like Triple H in charge uh -oh. with the outlaws and uh oh, what happened? They oh, the... oh, they're just there at the. There we're fine. Uh, yeah, they can't get us. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he was under the trailer. Fucking <laughs> <Like> asshole. <laughs>